I'm meteorologist Michael Fish, and the latest drought monitor just came out. I, I do have to kind of hammer this home because, I mean, not only have the normally dry conditions continued to expand, now there are parts of our area, uh, notice that under moderate drought conditions, there's Charlotte, and you notice along the border here, uh, those are severe drought conditions. So we really need some rain, and I don't have much rain over the next seven days, maybe not even a drop. We'll get to that in a second. Otherwise, it's just going to be getting warmer and warmer around here, and it looks like really quiet weather going into next week. I mean, it will be cooling down for a bit later next week, but it's not going to get that cold. Still no big shots of cold there in the forecast. Now, wait till you see this weekend how warm it's going to be. Okay, satellite and radar, high pressure is basically settled right next to us, and it's not moving. That means we are going to be quiet. The shower is way out. I mean, I'm like in the Dakotas. That's almost like west of the Dakotas. It's a long way from here. So we are going to keep things completely quiet for us. Now I'm going to put our computer model into motion and I, I just have to watch the timestamp to make sure it's, it's working. Usually I can see a couple clouds passing on by. I'm like, okay, we've made it this far. We made it this far. I, I mean, there's, there is nothing going on whatsoever. Even like the window arrows are barely even moving. So that means we are going to be caught in this pattern, except for each day, it's just going to get warmer and warmer around here. And with the high pressure close, there's not much in the way of wind. We're just going to have a gentle breeze going through the night and tomorrow, a little fall-like breeze that doesn't feel too much like fall because we're going to be going above average temperature wise. This looks to continue. This is a six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. And it's just more of the same for us. You just get warmer and warmer and then you have these little uh, quick cool downs, but then it warms up after that. It kind of looks like that's our pattern. So average high 60, there's our average low of 41. And for tomorrow, we go again, going above average. Upper 60s for many of us. And if you don't make it there, you're in the mid 60s like Litchfield. It's still. That is still plenty mild for this time of year. Tonight, clear skies, 35, maybe some of us with some patchy frost. But again, it's that time of year. That's not uncommon. We've already seen that. And for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies and 67 degrees. As we head through the next seven days, look at the weekend, 70s. So if you have plans to be outside, I mean, it is going to be plenty warm for this time of year without the humidity because, you know, it's like mid-fall. Lots of sun. We keep it dry the whole weekend. Uh, Monday, still in the 70s, even next Tuesday, 71. Weak system rolls on through with maybe just a couple of clouds, that's it. And there's that brief little cool down, it looks like by next Thursday, 57, but that's near average. So overall, not much rain, 